What's up everybody? Well, on today's video, as you can see, I am back at the lanes. And so what I am going to do is I am going to make a video on lineups and aiming for this one. Just to give you an idea of what you're trying to go for when you go ahead and throw to get your strikes, okay? There are a lot of different options you can choose from and a lot of different lineups you can do, but the overall factor is the rule of 31 to hit the break point. So take your oil pattern and deduct 31 from that number and that will give you your break point board down lane. This is normally about a 42 foot pattern and it's heavy oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple warm up shots and then after that, we'll start going over what I mean by aiming, all right? So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so if you guys watched any of my other videos, I explained how the dots are going. Now the first thing you want to do is throw a ball down the lane and figure out where your oil is. If you're coming in on burn lanes, chances are the middle of the lane is going to be really, really dry. That's the scenario with this one. I don't always get a chance to bowl fresh oil lanes, so you know I just kind of work with what I've got when I show up to the lanes. But with this particular lineup, I'm lining up with my feet on 30 and I'm actually throwing to board 12. Anywhere between board 10 and board 15 is gonna give me a strike with the ball that I'm using. I'm using my original Black Widow. But I found my last throw, which you just watched, happened to be down board 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that same lineup and I'm gonna see what happens, okay? So let's go ahead and throw it and see if we can catch some good oil rings. And I'll show you those too to get you to understand what I mean. Okay, so you saw how that ball went down the lane. That's just to give you an idea. By the way, our scoreboard is messed up. It's not really like putting down our accurate scores. This happens every time, from time to time. So I'll put up a video to show you how to take your own scores just in case. But I wanted to show you these oil rings right here. You can see them on the ball. You notice how the ball went all the way far right on the lane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of this spare that I've got, and then I'm gonna throw with my Storm Invasion, and I'm gonna throw it down the middle of the lane, and I'm gonna give you an idea of how much oil is not in the middle of the lane. So I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, that was a throw down the middle of the lane, and you can see there's really no oil rings on this ball at all, so the inside of the lane, from board 20 to board 30 is almost bone dry. Everything out from the sides to that, from 15 down to one, and then from you know 30 over, it's got a lot of oil. So pay attention to that, and that'll give you an idea how to start aiming. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take one more throw, and then after that, we're gonna actually talk about my lineups and how to assess whether you need to move or not. Right? So I'll be right back. All right, so check it out. We're gonna start off with the basic aiming, okay? Now, I'm gonna do what I do most of the time. I'm gonna line up on 15, and in case you're not familiar with that, the dots are right here. So this dot right there happens to be 15, okay? Now, if you're right-handed, they start in numeric order from lowest to big to graders, going from right to left. If you're left-handed, it's the opposite, left to right, okay? So I'm gonna line up on 15, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw to arrow 10 down lane, which you all look at the arrows down there, you can see them, all right? Now, when you actually reference to the arrows, you know, it gives you a really good idea. So I'm gonna throw my normal throw and I'm gonna see what the ball does. And then that'll give me the idea of whether I need to adjust or whether I can keep throwing like that. So I'll be right back with the throw. Okay, so as you see, that was a lineup with my foot on 15. I threw right over arrow 10, and the ball actually went through the nose of the pins. So now I have two options. 
I can either throw a little bit more to the right of that arrow and throw to arrow number eight or seven, or I can decide to move my feet. Most people would decide to go ahead and move over two boards at this point and throw the same line. But what I'm going to do right after I get done taking out this spare is I'm actually going to throw to board eight, if not board seven, and see if that makes a difference, okay? So, I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see from that last throw, I went ahead and I threw down board eight while keeping my foot position still on board 15 on my approach, and the ball actually went Brooklyn. So at this point, I know that I need to move my footwork left. Now I'm gonna go over two boards and throw back to 10 and see what happens from there. Okay, as you can see, the two board shift with my feet did not work down 10. So instead of keeping that two board shift with my feet and throwing to board eight, I'm just gonna move a full five from my first position, which was board 15 line up on the feet. And I'm gonna go to board 20 and throw to arrow 10 and we're gonna see what happens now. Okay, so as you can see, that lineup worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and run with that one for a little bit. I'm gonna do one more throw, and then I'm gonna switch balls to a ball that has a stronger pin layout and core and see what happens. Okay, so let's say that wasn't working for you and you can't find your lineup anywhere, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch balls. This was in my, my uh, future video that's coming up. This one is slightly pin over instead of pin up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at 20 and I'm gonna throw to 10 and see what happens and see if this kind of goes to the pocket. This ball does hook a little bit more, but it takes a little bit longer to hook, so we're gonna see what happens. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. What you're always looking for when you're finding your sweet spot on a bowling lane is you're finding the consistency of the throw, okay? You wanna make sure that your ball has the same motion going down lane. So considering that I'm trying to find a good point and the ball keeps going in different areas, whether it be Brooklyn through the nose or a pocket strike, lets me know that I'm not quite in the right area. So before I go ahead and move farther left with this ball, which hooks a little bit harder down lane, but takes longer to hook. I'm gonna go ahead and move to my first position, which is feet on 15. I'm gonna throw to 10, just to show you what would happen. All right, so you saw that, right? Line up, feet on 15. I threw right down board 10. This ball hooks harder than the invasion, invasion farther down lane. And you saw how that one actually went Brooklyn. Now, if you want to stick to Brooklyn strikes, by all means, go for it. But me, I'm going to do a 10 board shift from that last throw. So I'm going to start off at 20 and throw to 10. And then if that doesn't work, I'm going to go 25 and throw to possibly 12 or 10 and see what happens. Alright, so I did that last one for fun because I had already done the 20 to 10 lineup and knew it wasn't going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and line up with my feet on 25 and I'm going to throw to board 10 and we're going to see what happens. So nothing like punching the rack in the middle of the nose just to make your eyes water for a strike, right? Not what I was going for, but that was actually kind of cool. So that's one of the things you got to pay attention to. Those are things that could happen. Now I'm going to go ahead and move over 25 and I'm going to throw down 10 and see if I can put a little bit more angle into the ball.
All right, so that was another one through the nose. Like I said, they don't always work out. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and line up with my feet on 30 and I'm gonna throw roughly to board 10, maybe board 12. I'm gonna aim for 10, but if I hit 12, it's still just as good, okay? So we're gonna see what happens. Alright, so if you were watching where the ball was going, the first throw where I had to pick up the spare went down board 8. The second throw that didn't quite do exactly what I wanted went down board 12. I'm lining up with my feet on dot number 30 and I'm throwing to board 10 now because that's obviously splitting the difference to give me exactly what I want. So we're going to see what happens. All right, so if it's not working for you, you always want to switch balls. You can keep dancing around on the board, but if you've got a different ball, switch balls and then go ahead and start at your last throw. What I'm going to do this time just for fun is I'm going to line up on 30 and I'm going to throw down 15 and we're going to see what happens. All right, I'm gonna try that one more time. 30 to 15 because that last one was 30 to 10. And had my pins not karate chopped themselves in the back, it actually would have gave me a strike. But I'm gonna try 15 at the arrows this time. So I hope that helped you understand how to line up and how to judge whether you need to move. Most people go one with the feet at first and then throw to the same mark on the board at the arrows. Then if that doesn't work, you go two with the feet and then one over at the arrows and so on and so forth. You know, you have a one and zero, a two and one, a three and two, so on and so forth so you kind of get the idea so if you got any questions drop them in the comments down below get out there get some practice get better find a ball that works for you and if you have the ability to get a couple of them that are drilled just a bit different because you never know what's going to happen okay so i'll see you guys later leave a like on the video if you liked anything about it share it with a friend smash that subscribe button like i've been smashing some of these strikes and hit that notification bell, all right? I'll see you later.